Well, hey there. Welcome to the Paul Paul Chronicles and more with Jim. Well, today I decided to come out here to an area that I call the Paul Paul Pen. You guys haven't seen this in a while. And decided, all right, let's, let's blow a little bit of watering. I have a total, I believe, 150 or 259 pawpaws out here. And they all came up in different stages. The bigger ones were the first ones to come up. And then I had more to come up. And uh, they've all been treated the same as far as uh, foliage feed. All of these have been through foliage feeding. And let's finish this off real quick. Let's not put that on such a high blast. There we go. Let's give them a, a slower shower. These right here have been out here, uh, the bigger ones, uh, about a month. And it came in here in stages as far as, as the little trees came up inside the big pots, I transplanted them into individual pots. And uh, <coughs> they've all come up in different stages. Let me back this hose out of here. We'll talk a minute. As you can see, I got some of them, they're doing very, very well. That's pretty tall for this uh, time of the year. I've gotten some good height to them, the earlier ones. Uh, these ones right here all came up, I want to say roughly around mid to uh, late May stratified and I tried to wake them up in the house. I have more out there that need to be transplanted. I have more out there that are inside of uh, milk crates like this. <coughs> and I've planted them in different pots. I can see what pots is doing what with uh, how the trees are growing. This incidentally is uh, from Stu and Sons. Uh, it's a uh, what you call a all one tree pot but it's not the 14 inch pot it's the nine and a half inch pot and what I would call uh, shoulder cuts on the pots for air pruning to allow some root mass to grow within that tree and slip this right back in place you know, just looking at them, at first I thought to myself, well, some of these are reaching 11 inches tall. Brought tape measure out here to double check myself and make sure I wasn't fibbing to myself. I was wrong. They're about nine and a half inches. <coughs> that first one I pulled and showed you was nine and a half inches tall. This one right here was nine inches. Uh, but they're all looking pretty good regardless. And, you know, uh, this one right here, the one thing I keep looking at is the terminal bud, that very end bud, to see if I still have that bright color that I'm looking for to give me that indication that that tree is still willing to grow as long as it has the nutrients to grow. Normally, uh, up until this year, Whenever I started my little pawpaw trees, uh, they would get probably about this big. And then the growth rate would completely shut down and it's ready to call it quits for the season. But that was before I started utilizing uh, uh, foliage uh, fertilizing 
to feed them. And as you can see, I've got some that are quite a bit bigger than this one right here. And that too, the terminal is still fresh has a good color to the terminal and like I said that's that's what I'm looking for that good color let me bring us in closer so you can see what I'm talking about that little bud right there it's it's willing to continue to grow but it needs the nutrient in order to continue its growth rate I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing and this is something that I started practicing this year and I want to continue practicing this to help uh, bring these up as large as possible. Uh, hopefully some of these come next year may actually be ready to uh, uh, graft onto. You know, last year at the Paw Paw Festival, there was somebody that had trees there uh, at the uh, NAPGA uh booth and if you uh, signed up for a, a second year they gave you a tree a pawpaw tree and I'm gonna tell you what <coughs> this guy that brought those trees he had them they were about that tall I couldn't believe how tall they were and he said he had started them uh, that same year and he explained to me the process of what he did to cause the trees to grow so quickly. And I said, hmm, I'm going to apply that. But I took it a little step further. And what I did was, as I shared, is I inoculated all of these little trees as I planted them in a mycorrhiza uh, soup, if you will. And they were in that to uh, give them, it's called mycoapply, to give them that boost. Because that mycorrhiza is a fungi that actually helps draw nutrients out of uh, the soil and uh, attaches to the root and it causes that tree to grow or feeds that tree, in other words. You know, the old adage. Uh, for uh, the pawpaw that I've always heard is first year sleep, second year creep, third year leap. That being the case, I, I tend to believe that on the third year that little tree has came across mycorrhizas that are in the soil and that's what causes it to leap. It's now has something that's aiding it and pulling nutrients out of the soil to cause it to grow. Uh, that would be my assumption. So <clears throat> what I decided to do with micro uh, apply utilizing mycorrhizas is to take that shortcut to get to a point to say, okay, what can I do to make these trees grow quicker? And that's where I listen to an awful lot of people. And being involved with the Ohio Paw Paw Growers Association and the NAPGA, I've learned a few things talking with those uh, with certain individuals within that organization, and it's helped me quite a bit. As you can see, the trees are looking extremely healthy. They're not looking bad at all. There's some more of that good color to the terminal. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll continue to grow and I can get more size to them. We're at the beginning of July. <coughs> well, I take that back. More towards the middle of July. So we got the rest of July, August, into September. So we got another good uh, uh, eight weeks of growing period. Uh, within uh, uh, the property and hopefully we get what I'm looking for out of these trees and I will continue to share that with you I'm, I'm really pleased with what's going on like I said over 250 of them out here uh, the nursery uh, there's uh, there's another uh, 
200 out there seedlings that I started and then I have other seedlings that I got to get uh, potted up and seedlings from last year which they're being treated the same way everything's being treated with a foliage feed so you know just in pawpaws alone <clears throat> I'm probably looking roughly around about 800 maybe nine uh, I won't know until I'm done uh, transplanting everything and, and able to sit down and really take an inventory of what I've got. It's just something I wanted to share with you. My name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell for any notifications. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.